we have to be super careful with reading. Math questions like to change one tiny word that changes the whole meaning of the question. So we have to be careful with that. Okay? The graph of y equals negative 2x squared minus 0 0.5 was reflected in the x-axis and its image is shown. So a couple things. First of all, you would see this. And again, think about what kind of reflection is that? In the x-axis, things are moving up and down. So that would be a vertical reflection. In function notation, a vertical reflection. Anything vertical is outside the function. So we would think of y equals negative f of x. And so this graph, which I'm going to put a blue box around, would have actually been here. Because the question says its image is shown, not the original graph. That's important as far as reading goes because 90% of questions you've done in your lifetime that involve graphs, right? If they give you an equation and then give you a graph, 90% the equation they give you is the graph that they show you. And what that's done is it has trained your brain. Your brain is good at looking for patterns. Your brain is good at looking for shortcuts. Pre-calculus math is sometimes designed to say, be careful, because your brain wants to trick you sometimes. Patterns are good, shortcuts are good. That's part of our human nature to survive better, right? But sometimes we recognize a pattern and a shortcut, and things don't work out well, right? Because you do the wrong thing because you misread something, or you misunderstood something. So we. One of the things that pre-calculus wants to do is it wants your brain to be skeptical of itself. Like, when is my brain trying to trick me? And if you can get good at that, that can help you in a lot of jobs that you do. That you don't make certain mistakes because you missed something or didn't see a little difference in the equation. Okay. So what is the equation of the image? Now we are going to have fun with this one. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out three possibilities. And you have to tell me if all three are right, all three are wrong. That would be really mean as a teacher to do all three wrong. Or maybe one is right and two are wrong, or two are right and one is wrong. <laughs> Okay, so here it goes. I will do them in three different colors. None of them will be red to influence you thinking that the red one must be red. Okay, so I am going to write out the following. Possibility number one, I need a negative outside of the function. Oh, actually, First of all, I'll show you the right answer. First of all, I'll show you the right answer in a non-simplified way, and then I'll simplify it. So what's going to happen is the very easiest way to do this question. Here's the right answer. The negative is outside the function. So I put a negative, and I put a big set of brackets. Would you agree that negative is outside the brackets? And I just rewrite it. my equation. That is 100% right. In fact, I'd recommend it because in grade 12, they don't always require you to simplify as much as they did in previous grades. They assume you can do that, and they give you full marks even if something isn't simplified all the way. We'll talk more about specific details of that 
throughout the year, but right now this would be perfectly fine because we wanted a negative outside the function. I rewrote the function. I put a negative outside. The question asks for an equation. I need an equal sign. I need something on both sides. Okay. And now we're going to say, unfortunately, this question is multiple choice on your exam. And this option wasn't there. The exam simplified. And one of the things the exam gave you was this one in blue. Oh, I shouldn't use blue because I used blue. I'll start with blue. Here's the green answer. Part A. And they wrote the following. Y equals y equals negative 1 over negative 2x squared minus 0 plus 5. And then in purple, they wrote B, which was y equals y equals 1 negative 1 over 2x squared plus 0 0.5 and then they wrote c in orange y equals 1 over 2x squared plus 0 0.5 and then the multiple choice said which are right is the answer A? Shouldn't use, yeah. Here, I'll make my multiple choice like this. Is the answer, is the answer only A? Only B? Only C? It's a terrible multiple choice question. Hate these ones. Do you get them in bio? Where they like say A and B? Oh, and you just like, Get a little frustrated when you do this. And then there's like, oh, A, B, and C. Or I could have B and C. Oh my goodness, how many options are there? Or it could be also C, A, and C. All right. There's a nasty multiple choice question. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options. Guessing now has you at a 12.5% chance of getting this right. The green, the purple, and the orange, are they all wrong? Are they all right? Is only one of them right? Are two of them right? Oh. It's stressful. It is stressful. I think I all right. Okay. This is going to be fun. We're going to quickly do, we're going to go through all eight options. Oh, great. Pick one quickly. Go with your gut. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's if it's wrong. Okay? And we'll put up your hands when I get to the one that you think. So and we'll start with I. If you think it's only A, you put up your hand. Okay? Are we ready? Everybody has to put up their hand. So if you haven't put up your hand, you are choosing none which I already told you is not the right answer, okay? Okay, only A, only B, okay, only C, A and B, okay, A, B and C, B and C, A and C, and none. All right. The answer is five. Sorry, Kendra. The correct answer is. Oh, A and C. Those ones are right. Now. Oh, controversy. An explanation of why they're right. When you have a negative outside of a function, like we do in the red, I can think of that outside negative as a fraction of 1 over 1. And if that fraction of 1 over 1 is negative, it could be that the negative is on the top. And if you think about your rules for multiplying fractions, you multiply <coughs> the tops, you multiply the bottoms. So if I had the negative on the top, Negative 1 times 1 would be negative 1. 
The bottom wouldn't change because you're multiplying it by a positive one. So that is why the green one is correct. The orange one is correct because I could write a negative one out in front by having that negative on the bottom of my fraction. In that case, the one would multiply the one, same one. The negative one would multiply the bottom, which you would have to distribute, and it would change the 2x squared to positive and the 0.5 to positive. If you do the purple one, you are multiplying everything by a negative, which means as a fraction you have negative one over negative one, which is positive one, and that doesn't work. Oh. And for those of you that went with the purple one, the reason you went with the purple one is because you're used to distributing, and you're used to distributing to everything. That doesn't work with fractions, because fractions have their own multiplication rules. Right? We are still distributing to everything, but we have to say, I either have the negative here or up here. I can have it in both places. And multiplying fractions just multiplies one and not the other. Okay. So, 7, 8, 9, and 12. And if we have time, I want to look at 12 with you. Oh, we don't have time. So uh, make sure you're done 12 for tomorrow.